Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a couple of wines here which I think are both Bordeaux Rouge. Uh, yeah, they are Bordeaux Rouge, not Bordeaux Superior or anything like that. Uh, 2012 vintage for one, 2009 for the other. Let us, without any ado, uh, further ado, dig in. Which one can I do first, older or younger? I usually do younger first, so maybe I'll swap it around this time and do the older. Uh, so, first one is 2009 Chateau Tour de Sarre. Um, that's all it says, Van de Bordeaux. A masterpiece on the front. Um, and um, well, it's got a rather, as you'll have seen from the screen, a rather uh, ornate label. Let's see whether it's an ornate wine. Uh, well, 2009 was a good vintage and um, it, it feels like everything is warm, ripe and rich and plummy here. Uh, there's uh, maybe a character that uh, is verging on the slight baked edge here, but um, there's this general juiciness about it. It feels uh, uh, like it's going to be... Um, Mature is the wrong word, but it doesn't feel like there's going to be any hard edges that uh, that need to resolve themselves. There's a little bit of smokiness about it, some black cherry, a bit of blackberry as well. It smells it smells good. Um, it and my concern maybe is uh, that slight baked edge. It, has that gone a little bit too far? Let's taste it and see. Juicy, heady, plummy, really nice wine actually. Um, there's um, not too many. Uh, I, mean, I, hate you, I hate to use the word smooth about wine, um, but here there is a general uh, softness and allure. There's, um, silk is not the right word because there's a, a slight fiery warmth to it. I don't know what the alcohol is, 13.5%. Um, it feels like, um, I was talking about that slightly baked edge. Uh, the fruit's got very ripe, but there's still a little bit of um, a, a freshness in there. Maybe I would like a little bit more uh, leafy, leafy finesse and freshness, but um, it's um, it's good. It's good. I, I like it. I'm going to have another drink. And that if Bordeaux could do wines like that uh, year in year out, um, I think that uh, they'd be doing because uh, the, the thing about Bordeaux is top end of the tree they're doing really well. Bottom end they're really struggling because there's a lot of wines that don't taste as um, satisfying as that because that is a very satisfying drink. Uh, let's see whether the next one's satisfying. Uh, so this is a Garagist um, and 2012, and it's a it's a wine. I think it's been made specially uh, for Naked Wines by a, a winemaker called uh, Jonathan Malthus, uh, who um, oh god, what's the Saint Emilion that he's uh, involved in? Oh, I can't remember. It's, you know these things slip your mind. Um, Dome, Le Dome, um, and um, yeah, so this is his, uh, and, and garage wines, the idea is you, uh, they, they, the, the whole movement started with people making small quantities of wine so, of such a size that their winery would fit in their garage, and they tended to be uh, mostly estates that were, uh, that had a lot of the major non Merlot rather than Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, got everything quite ripe, very ripe sometimes, and used a lot of, of new oak. There was a certain style about the wine and um, some people hated them some people loved them and uh, but what they did they were good at is introducing a new set of people to Bordeaux and um, if some of them went a little bit over the top uh, but some of them didn't and uh, uh, and some of the ones that are still in existence have um, I, I suppose grown up and uh, if they if they had the excesses that maybe they haven't had in their youth have mellowed and uh, hopefully the wines are all the better for it let's see what this one's like this is a younger, crunchier, um, more black currenty uh, than the berry and cherry and um, um, dark cherry of the previous one. It still feels like it's going to be uh, there's going to be a ripeness and softness. It feels uh, yeah, 2012 not as good a vintage as 2009, but it feels like the the wine here might actually have better balance. So I was talking on the previous one about uh, things looking some of the, some bits looking that just that little bit overripe. Here it feels like there's the ripeness. But there's freshness mixed in with it. And there's a sweet sheen of um, vanilla e oak. Um, smooth, plummy. Um, I don't think it's... Um, it, it, it's funny having these two, three years uh, difference in age. But in terms of uh, when I want to drink them, I like to drink both, both of them now. Here, um, maybe there is a little bit more coming out of, uh, of, of its shell that the wine needs to do. But... Um, 
The wine's good. It's tasty. Um, it's not. It, it has that rounded suppleness about it, uh, as with the, the uh, previous one. It doesn't feel like there's any tannins or anything that need to uh, uh, sort themselves out. Um, and um, really good adverts, both for basic Bordeaux and uh, if only more basic Bordeaux was like this, then uh, uh, then uh, Bordeaux at the cheaper end wouldn't be in the doldrums it is now. As it is, um, I'm. I find these darn satisfying wines. See you soon.